Let the church say amen. 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 I give it all thanks and honor to God, our Heavenly Father, and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. All right. All right. Our church, we should praise God. Amen. The whole earth. Psalm 148 says, let all the earth praise the Lord. Amen. Because he is truly worthy yes, yes. to be praised. Amen. Now church, it's nothing that we've done within ourselves. It's not that we are so good. It's not that we are so righteous. And it's not that we are so holy. And I know sometimes we think that we are a bag of chips and right. maybe even more. But if truth be told, it's because of God's grace. Yeah. All right. his, his mercy, His love, His kindness, yeah. and all of His goodness. Yeah. And you know what, church? God is good. Yeah. Not just some of the time, yeah. but all of the time, yeah. God is good. Yeah. So we should give Him the praise. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, I want our visitors to know that you are our honored guest. We have a saying that you are a stranger only once. So it's always just a joy and a privilege to have you here with us as we share in the Word of God. Amen. Also, want to give thanks to Brother Jamie Rochelle and the leadership here at 1101 West Central Street Church of Christ for the opportunity to deliver uh, this message. I also want us to keep in mind that Solomon said that there is no new thing Amen. under the sun. So I want to invite you to the book of Colossians, chapter 3, uh, verses 1 through 11. Colossians, chapter 3, verses 1 through 11. Paul says, if he did be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affections, evil conspicuous, and covetous, which is idolatry. For which things say the wrath of God come, and come upon the children of disobedience, in which ye also walk some time when ye live in them. But now ye also put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication uh, out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in the knowledge after the image of him that created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in us. <coughs> now, the writer of Colossians is the Apostle Paul. Uh -huh. Paul gave thanks to God our Heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And he prays for the Colossians. Amen. So church, we should always pray for one another. Paul had heard of their faith in Jesus Christ and their love for all the saints. So church, we should love one another. Amen. Now the Colossians had heard of the word of the truth of the gospel. So Paul wanted them to be filled with the knowledge of God's will. So Paul tells them to walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, uh, to be fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So church, we should also increase our knowledge of the Lord. Paul also wanted them to know that they had been delivered from the power of darkness 
and translated into the kingdom of his dear son. Now kingdom here is his, his called out people. In other words, his church known as the Ecclesia. And Christ has but one body. Amen. Now in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 4 mm -hmm. tells us that there is one body yes. and one spirit, even as ye are called into one hope of your calling. Then in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 18 mm -hmm. tells us he is the head of the body, yes. the church. Yes. Amen. And Christ, his word, is his law. Not man, but Christ. Now in chapter 2, Paul warns the Colossians against false teaching. In chapter 2 and verse 4, Paul said, And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. Now people today want to hear what sounds good yeah. rather than what does save the Lord. Yeah. And in chapter 2 and verse 8, Paul says, Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the traditions of men and after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. Now, just because you are some big high name like Dr. Reverend Bishop, Pastor Elder Jones, don't mean that you know the truth. See, sometimes men just lust after their own business. Now, we must follow the doctrine of Christ, the doctrine and the commandments of Christ. Now, in chapter 1 and 2, Paul has maintained that Christ Jesus has all sufficiency in salvation and overcoming sin. Now, in chapter 2 and verse 10, it tells us that in him we are complete. So, we don't have to hunger or thirst for anything new because we know the truth. Now, in the beginning of chapter 3, Paul gives some basic and practical admonitions that pertain to living a life in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Now, when we carry out these basics for living a life in Christ, we can see, uh, be assured that we can find in Christ Jesus everything that we need for this life and the life to come. Yeah. So, the title of this lesson is set your mind on things above. Amen. Right. Set your mind mm -hmm. on things above. Right. Now, as we begin to look at the text, Paul said, if you then be risen with Christ, mm -hmm. seek those things yeah. which are above, yeah. where Christ sits upon the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. Set your affections on things above and not on things on the earth. Now, when one is risen, are raised with Christ in baptism. He or she is to set their mind on things above. Yes. Now, it is not our place to say that he or she went in a dry devil and will come out of it. Mm. That is not setting your mind on things above. Amen. After all, look at what God has done for us. And, and it takes time. This is not an overnight thing. See, one has to grow. Amen. Now, setting our mind on things above is to seek the kingdom. Yes. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Now, in order to set your mind on things above, one must humble himself. In other words, Drop that attitude. Amen. Now, 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 and 7 says, Be humble under the mighty hand of God, that he might exalt you or lift you up in due time, mm -hmm. casting all your cares upon him, for he does care for us. Amen. So, why is it so important to set our minds on things above? Well, it is essential if we desire to be transformed. Yeah. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Paul said, be not conformed to this, this world. world. Now, to be conformed is to pattern mm -hmm. or to be mold. Now, if you use the same old pattern or the same old mold, 
then you'll get the same old thing. Yes. Then Paul said, but be ye transformed mm -hmm. by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Yes. So to be transformed is to be changed. Yes. So you have been risen in Christ and you have died to sin. Yes. You have put off the old man yes. and put on the new man. Yes. Now, the new man is not to continue in the things or the deed of the old man. Amen. But is to set his mind on things above. Uh -huh. And church, this is not denominationalism. So where no changes are required. Just as long as you pay your tithe, mm. you are 100. Amen. But not so. Amen. Now, it is also necessary that we set our minds on things above. <laughs> if we want to be able to live according to the Spirit. Now, and that's Romans chapter 8, verses 5 through 13. Verse 5 says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Verse 6 says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is it's life and peace. So, how do we seek? those things which are above? Or how do we set our minds on things above? <coughs> well, by directing our minds and our attention to such things mentioned in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8. Paul says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are honest, yes. whatsoever things are just, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are pure, Whatsoever things are lovely, mm -hmm. and whatsoever things oh, are a good, good report. report. If there be any virtue or any goodness, mm -hmm. if there be any praise, yes. think on these things. Yes. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me. Yes. Do. Mm -hmm. And the God of peace shall be with you. Yes. So can you see that church? Amen. If we set our mind Amen. on things above, then God will be with us. Mm -hmm. Now, even more specifically, by setting our mind on the word of God, on what does say of the Lord, come to Sunday school. Yes, yes. Come to the Wednesday night yes. Bible study. Yes. Come to the Sunday morning worship Amen. and Sunday, Sunday evening also, yes. that you may know what the will of God is. Yes. Now, Christ Amen. was foretold in the Old Testament. Now, in Isaiah, Chapter 53 and verse 4 says, Surely he hath borne all our griefs and carried our sorrow. Yes. Yet did we esteem him stricken, right. smitten of God and afflicted. Yes. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Yes. He was bruised for our iniquity. Mm -hmm. And the chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. And with his stripes, we all were healed. healed. And church, all we like sheep have gone oh, astray, yeah. and we have turned every one unto his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted. Yeah. Yet Amen. opened he not his mouth, yeah. and he was bought as a lamb, yes. as a lamb to the slaughter, yeah. and as a sheep before her shear is done. Yeah. So he opened. Amen. Not his mouth. Amen. Talking about our Lord Amen. Jesus Christ Amen. and all that he has done for us. Right. Then we see Christ, his life, and his teachings in the New Testament. Amen. The gospel of Christ, his death, his burial, Amen. and his resurrection, and how he rose on the third day. Amen. And so he tells us to see that you love one another. Amen. Also, we see the church that Christ promised to build in the book of Acts. And we see that about 3,000 souls were added unto it. Yeah. Not them, but it. Yeah. Then, we see more of Christ's teachings in the epistle uh, on how Christians are to live. Then, Christ encourages us and tells us of the ultimate victory in the book of Revelation. Right. The Apostle John tells us in Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3 uh -huh. that blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. 
and keep up those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John also tells us that we have been washed from our sins in his own blood. And that's Revelation chapter 1 and verse 5. Then Jesus tells us in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10, to be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So if we set our minds on things above, then we can receive a crown of life. Mm -hmm. Now, further reasons to set our mind on things above is that we die. And that's Colossians chapter 3 and verse 3. Now, this occurs when one is baptized into Christ, which is a burial into his death, mm -hmm. where we are crucified with him. And that's Romans chapter 6, verses 3 through 6. So we died to sin, that we might be free from sin, and now live with Christ. And that's Romans chapter 6, verses 7 through 13. So we have been raised with Christ. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 1. Now that we come forth from baptism, we were raised to walk in the newness of life. And that's Romans chapter 6 and verse 4. So our life is hidden with Christ. So when we put Christ on in baptism, as Christians, we are clothed with him. Yeah. We are to think mm -hmm. and to act like our yeah. Lord. Yeah. And that's Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5. We should also take on his way of thinking. Take on his spirit. Uh, take on his attitude. Yeah. And take on his disposition. Yeah. Amen. Paul said in Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. Yeah. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God. And he loved me and gave himself for me. So when we set our minds on things above, we are to deny self. What did Jesus say in Matthew chapter 16 and verse 24? He said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Now, if we set our minds on things above, when Christ appears in glory, then so will we. And that's Colossians chapter 3 and verse 4. Now, we should be motivated to set our minds on things above. Because if we do that, then there are some promises. Amen. But to obtain that promise, we must set our minds on proper things. Right. But we must also <coughs> properly deal with our bodies. Now in Colossians chapter 3, verses 9 and 10, we are to put off the old man yeah. and his knee yeah. and to put on the new man. Yeah. Yeah. Now in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17, tells us that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. <coughs> we are to set our affections on things above, yes. and not on things on the earth. Amen. We must put to death sensual sin. Yes. Colossians yes. chapter 3, verses 5 through 7. Yes. These are those that appeal to the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. He says, fornication. Now this is a general term used of any illicit sexual relation, mm -hmm. such as adultery, yes. homosexuality, yes. LBGTs, mm -hmm. uh, prostitutions, mm -hmm. uh, incest, yes. and bestiality, which means to have sexual relations with an animal. Then he says uncleanness. Now this uncleanness <coughs> is in a moral sense. Uh, the impurity of lustful, luxurious living. Then he says, inordinate affections. In other words, passion, which refers to as being depraved. Mm -hmm. Then he says, evil conspicuous or evil desires. Yes. Right. Now that deals with uh, a strong desire or craving yes. or longing for that which is forbidden. Mm -hmm. Keep on uh, lusting after that which you cannot have. Mm. And let me drop this on. 
Everything that looks good to you, uh-huh. they always good for you. Amen. Say that. Mm. Is to want everything you see. Mm. Then Paul says covetousness. Yeah. That is to have a greedy desire mm-hmm. to have more, uh, never having enough. Mm-hmm. And we talked about that in Sunday school this yeah. morning. Yeah. Paul described this covetous as idolatry. See, covetous. When you coveted something, you put it in the place of God. Mm-hmm. Our mind should be set on things above where God is yeah. and not on things Amen. on the earth. Amen. So if we set our mind on things above mm-hmm. and be obedient, mm-hmm. yet we can avoid the common wrath of God. Yes. Now we must also put off social sins. In other words, sins of emotion, such as anger, now that is to have a strong passion of the man uh, to be enraged. Then he says, wrath, that is to be mental bent, uh, to show indignation, uh, to be violent. So mad, you boiling over. Mm. But Paul says in Ephesians chapter 4 and verses 26 through 27, be ye angry and sin and not. Sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place unto the devil. Now we should not give the devil the opportunity to call us to sin. Then he says malice. Now that is to have an ill will. A desire to injure. Uh, wanting to hurt someone. Then we must put off sins of the tongue. He says blasphemies. That is to enter by speech yeah. or to slander Amen. one's good name. Amen. Also, a, a reproachful speech injurious to divine majesty. Mm-hmm. Then he says, uh, filthy communication. Yeah. In other words, filthy language. Yeah. That is to speak foul mm-hmm. or to use obscene speech, yeah. right. such as cursing and yeah. putting folks down. Yeah. These things are not to come out of our mouth. Yeah. Then he says, lie not one to another. Amen. Now Christians, do not continue to lie. Uh-huh. I know some just lie for no reason at all. <laughs> now the devil is a liar. Yeah. When a person is a liar, they are a child of the devil and not of God. <laughs> and all liars will have their part in the lake of fire, which burn up with fire and brimstone. And that's Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. So church, we need to set our minds on things above. Then we can practice putting these things off. And God will strengthen the new man. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 10, which is to be renewed in the knowledge after the image of him that created him. Now, in my conclusion, in the Old Testament, the whole duty of man is to fear God and to keep his commandments. Now, in the New Testament, the whole duty of man could very well be to be renewed in the image of Christ. After all, what did Paul say? Though the outward man is pierced, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Now, to set our mind on things above, we must take heed to the admonitions of Paul. Seek the heaven. Lay not up for us treasure on the earth, but lay up for us treasure in heaven. We must slay or put to death earthly things and do the will of God. So church, we should not desire a world of sin. Psalm chapter 55 and verse 6 says, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, yeah. mm-hmm. for then I would fly, fly away, away and be at rest. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a prayer, and the writer is saying, I don't want to be down here mm. in a world of sin. Amen. See, Amen. church, we shouldn't want to be down here in all of this fornication, mm-hmm. down here in all of this uncleanness, down here in all of these inordinate affection, yeah. down here uh, with all of these evil desires. Mm. And down here in all of this covenant. Amen. We shouldn't want to be down here in all of this anger, wrath, and malice, and mm. blasphemy, 
filthy language and lying. Mm. Down here for friends and family. And Lord have mercy. Even church folks we have betrayed. Amen. Right and we shouldn't want to be down here in a life of, of heartaches and pain, right. but to be at rest. <laughs> in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 16 says, but now they desire a better country mm -hmm. that is a heavenly. Yeah. Now church, I don't know about you, but I want to go to that city whose builder and maker yeah. is God. Amen. Now this place is for those who have set their mind on things above. This place is for those who have trusted in the heavenly Father. And this place yes. is for those who have kept his commandments Amen. and done his will. Now some call this place the glory land way. And some call this place catching the morning train to glory. Yeah. And some call this place riding the old ship to land. Yeah. And some call this place in the sweet by and by yeah. on the beautiful shore. Yeah. Now church, don't we want to go? Don't Amen. Amen. Don't we want to go, Amen. We go yes. uh, to a land of joy and a Amen. land of peace? Amen. Don't we want to go to a land of happiness? Yes. Don't we want to go where God shall wipe away all tears yes. from the earth? Don't we want to go where there yes, will be no do. more sin, yes. where there will be no more sorrow mm. and no more crying, no more pain for former things of past away. Yes. So church, let us set our mind on things above. And church, let's give it all we got that we can heaven our eternal home. Yes. Now, if you're here and you're a Christian and maybe you have lost focus, uh, you had not been setting your mind on things above the way that you should, or maybe you just need to be encouraged, or maybe you just need prayer, or maybe you need strength, this would be appropriate. Now, if you're here and you're not a member of the church and you would like to set your mind on things above, Romans chapter 10 and verse 17 says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Then one must believe. Believe what? The gospel. Right. And the gospel is his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Yeah. And how he rose on the third day. These are the facts of the gospel. Uh, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 says, but without faith it is impossible to please God, for he that comes to him must believe that he is, and he is the reward of those that diligently seek him. Uh, then one must repent of his sins. Amen. Acts chapter 17, <coughs> excuse me, and verse 30 says, in the time of this ignorance, God winked at, in other words, he overlooked, but now he commanded all men everywhere Amen. to repent. Then one must confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Yeah. Acts chapter 8 and verse 37, Philip said, If thou believest, if thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And yes, then one must be baptized. Yes. Uh, baptism uh, puts you into Christ. <laughs> Galatians chapter 3 and verse 27, Paul said, For as many of you have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. And then the Lord will add you to the church. No, not join, but add. Yes. Uh, and it says, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. Then Jesus tells us in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10, to be thou faithful unto them, and I will give thee a crown of life. Yes. Now if you are subject, would you stand while we sing the song? Amen. Thank you for listening. I hope that I said something that we can use and yeah. take with us and share with others. Uh, I said that lesson on set your mind on things above because when you take your mind off of heaven and the things in our goal, that's when things can happen. Yeah. So, uh, are there any questions on the things I spoke on? If there are no questions, the remainder of the service. Amen. 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 Amen.